Thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very interesting co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Benny Ark. Hello. What did you just call me? Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy Elsie. Mm, who is uh, Nancy? Yeah, tell well, us. You know why that just happened? I, I don't know. I'm really denying you life. You really who is Nancy? Why that just happened. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Oh God. Um, Multi Choice Nigeria commits 1.2 billion to support Nigeria's fight against COVID 19. The contribution includes cash support of 200 million naira and 50 million naira to the federal and Lagos state government, respectively. The donation of 10,000 certified test kits to the NCDC, public service announcement um, COVID 19 prevention tips in English, Pidgin, Igbo, Yoruba, and Hausa languages, as well as a approved inventory worth over 550 million naira highlighting the ncdc's covid 19 helplines and public service announcements on more than 10 channels across dstv and go tv the company will also cover <coughs> the remuneration of engaged creative industry professionals whose productions have been disrupted with a committed sum of 400 million naira um, should, well should done. I, should I say kudos to, to DSTV, yeah. but again, mm -hmm. um, they've been doing business in Nigeria for how long? Over, over a decade? Really now? You know, I'm just when saying. When it was Netflix, we were just no, happy and just ne, happy. Ne, no, but I even mentioned it. that kudos they were to still them. making I mean, I can't money. take it away from there. Like I did say yesterday, which, no, no, I shouldn't feel self-entitled, but I'm just saying, you know, that prior to now, I, I can't. I stand to be corrected. I don't know if there's any corporate res social responsibility they've taken in the community from which they've Whoa, profited from. No. I said I don't know. I stand to be corrected. Big brother. Oh. I'm just saying. They're profiting from that also. No. You know something. And they're happy something. Like. <laughs> something really. They've communal, met celebrities and stars. They do. They do. They do. That, that's why I said they I actually, stand. They actually do. They do a lot. Too yeah, many actually. They do for a lot of. You know. Um, so kudos to them. Mm. Um, I, want, I want to see more organizations who profit from the community from where they do their businesses, mm. at, especially at this point in time, Nigeria to be very particular, come and do things like what DSTV just did, you know, and so um, still not to sound so self-entitled. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a good give. It's a good give. And we want to see more. We're so, we're, we want to see more of that. You know, um, there, there's still some particular Nigerians, Nigerians are expecting to come out and donate to this course. And I'm hoping also that this is setting a good trend for many establishments. Are you expecting them? Did, they, did you give them money? Well? Them. I'm expecting. If they don't, it's still fine. I mean, if they don't, it's still fine also. Okay. Ben is expecting So I expect, it, is this, do I feel any type of weight, maybe ecstatic that DSTV is doing this? I no. do. No. It's, 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 it's expected of them. Mm-mm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, Let's call them most choice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> Mm. I think that it is amazing that they're doing this. I remember when we were talking about Peace Square and his follower, and I said, um, not that it had anything to do with him, like I've been reiterating. I'm saying that uh, I like when people give, and the, and the giving is meaningful. I'm mm. um, kind of like tattered clothes and, you know, type of stuff. This one for me was spot on. First of all, they were explaining where this goes. I haven't seen that yet. I've heard this person is giving ten million, ten dollars, ten thousand hundred million. But these people are breaking it down. We're giving ten thousand um, kids to these people. We're giving two hundred fifty million to this but place. There's always We're going to do it down, actually, all, from all, the, all those people. Aside the ones that are coming from individuals, like you know the Tinubu and the like, but the ones that have been coming from corporate organizations, they've always had breakdown. I haven't seen any. Wait, which, 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 which? UBA Mention, had a okay, breakdown. UBA, UBA. Um, okay. Even Netflix had a breakdown for the SS. There's, there's always been breakdown once you reach through. Okay. So from yeah. corporate organizations, but yeah, individuals don't necessarily just <laughs> donate. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe I that's think, what I've been seeing. I think more than those, just those donations. I'm very particular. Nigeria is a very peculiar country. Um, who is going to account for all of this money being given? Who is going to um, oversee, supervise to ensure that what this money is being put for is actually being utilized, which has well, been our big problem on this side. Yeah, but you I know. think um, the ones that are coming from corporate organizations, it's also their own responsibility as to well follow to yeah. follow up. They, like you mentioned CSR, they already have an office for that. So yeah. there is someone that is the head of CSR, yeah. there's someone that's head of PR. So those people, it is their job right now to make sure that the monies and the kits and everything gets to yeah. the right people. The, first the, the ones I'm worried for are basically the, private, the, the private individuals. Donors. 
yeah. and the ones that are just saying and we are giving 200 million the yeah. government saying those ones so i remember mm -hmm. having issues with that earlier with the government and then i asked a, a friend a family member i know that's in the government and thing and they said most of the for him personally he knew that a lot of that goes into paying staffs that are working um, and that's where that's where that money you, that he knows for sure goes into now how those staffs like if i pay the manager of whatever of clean so, uh, um, sanitation or whatever we don't know how that person uses it but most of the time those monies are going into salary but back to what i was trying to say is that i like the way that it was broken down and i like how they had the people in mind um, a lot of the times people have had issues with um convert conveying this message of covid 19 and the and the the thing that comes the theory that comes with it to people who don't speak english um so i like that they also put that into consideration because then that helps break down the challenge of like you know dealing and um, communicating to people that's who that's are not illiterate also people who are not um literate as well like this will help if they say it in their own languages i haven't really seen much um come up in terms of even in lagos with with um uh informations that are not in english most of the time they're always in english there's some radio stations i have to give credit to that do stay you know convey this message in other languages so it's nice that dstv is actually thinking about language barrier as well okay so i'm um, moving on to the next story give out seized food items um this is coming from richard mufedamijo to the customs sitting um he says sitting here wondering if this wouldn't be a good time for government to ask customs about all the plenty seized rice tomatoes vegetable oil and all the other food items they have in their possession and give out to our people in need i know sometimes the agencies of government um don't work as a team but please this is the time for um customs to step up and tell us how much relief they can bring to nigerians mm. spot on. pretty spot on i mean i love the picture that uh, the use for this uh, for the representation of what he was saying, right? It's his picture. Um, that was what he used. Yeah, okay. I, I love it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, um, the Nigerian customer at this point in time should actually, I think there should be some accountability um, project going on by them because mm. we're pretty much aware that there are all of the seizures they did in the last couple of months, years, mm. rise when they banned the importation of foreign rights into the country. And nobody's accounting for those stuff. And so most times they do say when they get stuff like that, most of them are bond. Mm -hmm. Well, so I think um, um, I I was able to speak to someone who yeah. works in the custom to find out what their procedure is, and he said that um, when they have this kind of, of course, we already know about the e auction when it comes to cars. Yes. So for food items, I was asking what is the procedure, and he's saying some of those food items e are actually also? no, they are not consumable. And those ones are burned or either buried. But That's the it. ones that are consumable, there are people already taking stocks of them, of every single thing, and they go to the warehouse. Warehouse, They call it the federal something. And most times, um, directives usually come from the federal government. That's uh, in conjunction with um, other agencies involved. It's not just about custom. And they usually take those things to the IDP camps. So, and I said, okay, what is IDP? So, um, Entirely Entirely displaced displaced, um, persons persons. Camp. so usually they take it to that place. So I asked, so if there is anything at all in the warehouse right now, what is going to happen? He said he's not sure there is, but if there is, then the federal government have to, the, or the order has to come from the federal government yeah. to actually say, take these things out and do this and that with this. So yes, I get where RMD is coming from, but um, most times the only thing we hear is that something has been seized. Mm. We don't work in the custom to know um, what, is done, what is done with it or how the process is. So from what I gather, the process right now, th there, is, there has been a process and it's been ongoing. They don't just keep those things. The ones yeah. that are bad are destroyed. Yeah. And the ones that are good are taking yeah. to those that really need them. And yeah. for the cars, we see them auction them and sell them off, yeah. right? So um, I think if they have any, we should just say bring them out. And I hope that they hear. But if they don't have, I, I, I see, I see, I see a lot of holes in what that person said to you. How, why All right, so? you see the thing, you make it public. You see the thing, mm -hmm. and then when you start to do your internal processes with it, mm -hmm. and decide to. Like you rightly said, give it out to the IDP comms. Mm -hmm. Not so much of it has been heard. Not so much of it has been accounted for. Not so much of it has been put in the news. Which is still part of our problem. But we, is have, that we have a transparency problem in this country. Mm. All right, you come over and you tell us um, you interjected, you intercepted some, some arms and ammunitions. Am, 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 am you, you give the amount of AK that was intercepted. Mm -hmm. And that is the last we hear of it. I think if Nobody you, as, telling as, us, as, wait, if you have, yeah. as a person Let decide to probe, you know, and you find, find out, out yeah. they will not hide that information yeah. but there's, there's just I don't think well, it I don't get information. Because because it is yeah. public it's, it's supposed to be public information i don't think because, right, because you are not getting it doesn't you know, mean that they're so not the actually the day, doing at it at the end of the day 
I, I don't want to believe, yes, it's, it's the prerogative of the federal government to authorize them with maybe other agencies involved mm -hmm. also. Yes, so many but this is a very critical period. And so the, it's, it's not. But they're not going to announce that. Which is why they're the saying is there risk. risk. You know, yes. Then the FG will give and the directive. There should be. <laughs> why would you say there should can't be. be? You know, and even in that E option, I mean, there's, there's, there's still a whole lot of. You don't just trust well, the process, that, no. that's the thing. No, but no, I don't. Process. Our, our, our process is flawed. Of course, right? that's what I'm saying. I mean, you don't that, trust those the car e auctions you talk about. Mm. It's still within amongst themselves. They, they, and they eventually they get to sell and, and, and I know that's what everybody's know? talking about. But what's so wrong with that? These people are underpaid. If they take rice from their office, so like I don't see what the issue is because uh, people are saying. I don't saying, think the customs are part of those that are actually underpaid. I'm not very sure about that. I don't think so. Uh -huh. So, um, <laughs> if so, somebody needs rice, uh, mm. to, for me, my issue right now isn't whether or not. Um, the people are getting it. I feel like if there's a family in there that feels like they need rice, they're mm. part of the pro they're part of the people that we're talking about, so they mm. can uh, might, they might as well. I don't know any industry that doesn't have advantages. If that makes sense. Like if I'm working at the media place, and it's most likely to see, I don't know, whatever it is. And what I'm saying, from that. I'm saying I don't think there's anything wrong with all the are, and, 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 I'm and I think that's okay to too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because even what so what Benny is saying that um, right now, if it's there, they should bring it out to site and have Well, from what he's saying, I don't think it's a large Saying, because they're already saying giving they it they shouldn't to... profit from where they walk. We're saying there's a larger portion of it still with you guys. If, no, there, but if there, there is, is. Then we need it right now. Put it out there. You can share what you want Please, to share amongst your family. Please, dear share some with Benny, okay? It's time for a quick I need break. <laughs> and when we return, we'll be discussing so much more. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Minimal mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Bonaboy says he's leaving Twitter for good. Oh. He said, and I quote, this is my last personal tweet ever. Mm, I'm going to just leave this app because apparently I'm too real for it. Everyone, please use oh, this COVID-19 times to really find out what your true purpose in this world is. Train your mind and body to the fullest. Get closer to the most high and your family. Find out who is truly for you and who is really your enemy. Let conscience and confidence lead you all as it has led me all my life. Peace and love, end of words. Of course, we have reactions, but first, Benny. I just love Brother <laughs> Boy, man. Like, hey, you know, man, 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 it's obvious many people have an attitude with this, with this self confidence that comes up to some people, I mean, that's arrogant. You know, I think and there's nothing wrong with it. Don't think he's arrogant. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. You because, just said you said it. Without, um, you know, he's, he's mm. self confident. He expresses himself the way, the way it is for him. Mm. Do people have a problem with that? Yes, but. Um, should you tell me totally arrogant? No, I mean, there, there are ways people say what they want to say, and just because it doesn't sit well with you, mm -hmm. you shouldn't tag it arrogant. Mm -hmm. All right, um, and in this side, I realize many times that once you don't cower to people, you're bold and confident to say what you want to say and look them in the eye, they, they tell you you're rude, they tell you so you're arrogant. So how do you feel you know? about him leaving Twitter? No, this is it. This is uh, this is not the first time. But I said this some time ago. He, I said it some time ago when there was so much like troll on him. I'm trying to remember the particular incident where he actually said he was getting off completely. Something about record label. Yeah, the entire yeah. social media. Mm -hmm. um, that never happened. And so maybe this time he's going to make his word. He left Instagram. Yeah, yeah. maybe he's going to make his word real this time around. But I think that would just be um, one one more real person going off social media. Because I consider one a boy real. One more real person. Oh yes. Oh, we've that, lost. Me, Twitter consider, family. They say you will have lost the real person. I consider one a boy real. He fell um, back. You know, and again, probably, probably again, he's beginning to feel the pressure of of being constantly being trolled at. Mm. 
he, he's human. I'm sorry. I mean, also, no, no matter, no matter, no matter how. Strong. Yeah, but he, he seems to be the most. He, he's, I, he's I also, wonder why. You know, okay. and so for um, me, I wonder why. For me, at the end of the day, I mean, if he's really getting off Twitter. I think yeah. us Twitter family will be fine with Alberto Boy. Thank Definitely. you very much. Uh, there's so many reels out there that mm -hmm. we uh, we don't need. You can go. To, you can leave. You can even leave. And when you're real, I think you don't need to come out and tell us Thank you're you. real. People yes. feel your realness. And uh, there is a problem. There's so many. Mm. Look, look at the rapping. Look at the rapping mm. industry. <laughs> You want nah. to, do you want to sing it oh, higher? Hold on, like, let, let's have, mm. I think my reactions because your boy dressed it. There's so many people who are real and don't have to overcompensate for that. You mm. can be confident without screaming. There's something more sexy about just not having to well, put your different. own voice. Let me finish my conversation. He's loud about his, so. man. And we shouldn't kill him for that. Okay, so I think it's time for me to take the reaction. Yes, um, Uguna Ejikem says, you said you won't go to SA again, yet you almost went. You said streaming numbers don't matter when Mayor Kun was celebrating his, yet a few weeks later you celebrated yours. Ebuoluwa, she decided to call him by his real name. You are not too real for Twitter. You just talk too much for your celebrity. Love your music. At Creature says, Thanks. living actually gives them the edge. Stay here, pepper everybody, just take your mind off it and focus on the good energy from the ones that love you. Use the block feature, chase them out like the dude from that event. Agreed. Okay. Um, at Starboy underscore Berry Sistine says, please leave or better still, deactivate your account. Your Igberaga done too much. That's at Earth and Where says, you're not too real anything, Baba. You just know to sabi talk most of the time. Yep. Any small thing, you are confrontational. You are the African giant, but I think your attitude sucks. Um, at Salute Sam says, it's quite better. Leave the thing for your PRs to do marketing and adverts. Your so-called realness to some is arrogant, but in reality, it's so, it shows so much damage. Thanks. I'll leave it at that. Um, at Shemu Adiola says, you are not too real. You are a very insensitive person with an overbloated sense of self who unfortunately realized that the world does not work that way. Mm -hmm. Feel free to crawl back into the deluded world you came out from. Coward. Okay, I think that's the much I can take, but yeah. Um, I want to say the whole reaction something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think, to be honest with you, I agree with every... Uh, for some reason, I agree with everyone. Size, I yeah. love um, Bernard Boy's music. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, and he has every right to be <coughs> confident. But this is not confidence. And I, I, maybe you... Bernie I think he to, looks down on people. Yeah, he does. And Bernie wants to sugarcoat it and say it's not, it's not arrogance. People. But it is arrogance. Wow. Um, and whether That's or not... The, feeling, guess, the, the, the truth, the truth okay. of the matter is that you don't... You can you don't be feel, arrogant... You know feelings are subjective, done, right? Sorry. Go ahead. You know feelings are subjective, right? I don't a want feeling. You say that's a feeling you get. Feelings but are subjective. But you're, you're expressing your own how you feel about it. No, but you can't. You can't. You can't uh, express your feelings. Can't you, you, can't, you can't. have an you're opinion. You're saying something. Um, the the. There's something about like you being arrogant. Like I can't take. I can't understand where basically. If something is arrogant, it's arrogant. You don't have to um care about the fact that people think that you're arrogant. My burner boy can still decide to be on Instagram and paper everybody and talk anyhow he wants. He has the right to do that. He doesn't have to necessarily leave. Right but if he's, if, he's, if he's decided to do that, that's, that's fine. But there is something about you over your horn. It just kind of shows insecurities to me. And that's why I feel like um, Corey Day Bello still asks the best question. Like, is there something else there? Because he is really talented. He doesn't actually need this overcompensation. Like, he doesn't actually need to be dragging people and be bringing people down. So, yeah, if it's good that Nigerians are actually seeing on Twitter that, yeah, your music is great, but like, there's so there's only so much that your talents can do that 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 doesn't um, over compensate for a bad attitude and i think he's saying that as well i trust me if burner boy thought that he was in the right he will be making this comp this 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 tweet okay um i think it's time to move on to the next story taylor sweet offers to pay salaries of employees at nashville record store during coronavirus she has made generous cash donation to provide direct relief for the workers at the record store that closed amid the global pandemic one beneficiary of $3,000 um, check from Taylor was Holy Turner, who took to Tumblr and confessed she was worried about losing her home in New York. She later attached a screenshot of a notification that the funds had been received from Taylor Nation LLC. 
um, alongside the message, Holly, you've always been there for me. I want to be there for you now. I hope this helps. Love, Tila. Mm. That's so sweet. I've been waiting for her, for. to be honest, oh. because she's one of the richest people in the industry in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I, I want to know what Benny will say about this, because if DSTV that's earning Naira is donating that much money, the percentage she's donated is very tiny in comparison to what she has. But to be honest with you, I, I feel like it's an awful way to see things when you start to calculate people's budgets, because do you want them to give you all their money? These girls are going to go for a tour anytime they soon. They didn't become successful to feed you. Exactly. And she's not going to get any money anytime soon, because her job is pretty much based on social gatherings um but i'm, I'm glad she came out i have honestly oh been she's waiting. making money streaming true true that um so I'm, I'm glad that she's actually coming out to say something because i've been waiting for her um it, it, it is um what, what another thing i read in her website was that this is not the only thing that she's been giving so sometimes i think we also need to be really careful before we start to bash people that's they don't always come up with what they are donating because people are already saying that, that that salary thing is really small and three months and blah 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 but she's been giving um other people as well as people in her family and her community and stuff so kudos to you girl and thank you for sharing that with us Oh, well, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting anything from Taylor Swift, to, to be honest. Anything? Really. anything. No, but okay. she decided to do it. She decided to do it. And for me, I think that the bigger, the bigger lesson for me in, in all of this, people were doing what they need to do, reaching out to other people, being of help to people. It's just, um, they say we lose our humanity once we stop caring for one another. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing us going back to the basics of who we do well, well where our humanity. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, I see many humans, but no, not so much of humanity being displayed. Mm. And so this, 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 um, this, this period has made me realize that, you know what, we still have hope. There's still humanity in every human. Sorry, I just um, remembered something. Please follow Benny Yak on Instagram. He's also giving out money. I'm there to bring oh that. Boy, I was Go say. to his Instagram page and his story. Um, follow, I, I'm about to DM my, don't do Pasha. The first person that DMs you gets the money. He's not the first at person. the I'm, Benny I'm getting, I'm getting DMs. At the I'm Benny getting, app I'm getting DMs. on Instagram. I'm getting, I'm getting like, I'm getting like over 20, 25 DMs. You want to give 10 people, night. right? Yes, just, just 10 people. Just put our name in the paper and <laughs> because I'm sure um, I'll be there. But I have a so, question for you, yeah. Benny. When we were talking about uh, multi-choice donation, yeah. you said something. You said there are people you're expecting. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you also said that it's not a problem if they don't. Yeah. You, you didn't mention anybody's name. But right now, you, were, you just said you did not expect that from Taylor Swift. Now, wasn't, uh, my What's mind the didn't, difference, I wasn't, no, what I mean, difference between Taylor, mind, Taylor Swift and mind, the people you're yeah. expecting from? My mind didn't go to Taylor Swift. Okay. You get what I'm saying? For DSTV, hey, I patronize them. They do business in my country. <laughs> I, I, I subscribe every month. Oh, so it's a personal thing. So, yes. Oh. I, I don't even get it. So that's what okay. I mean. Yes. Right. So okay. I, okay. I subscribe. I mean, I, I kind of have a relationship with them because mm. I give them my money every month. Right. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> and that's why again, I say. Why is it paying you? Yeah, they don't offer his service to you. You know, and so that's why I say again, if, if they still decided not to have given, it's still fine. But hey, I'm not so, I'm not so blown away that they finally came out and said they're doing this. Okay. You know. So, yeah, so later on by midday, I just, a friend of mine called me yesterday and this is somebody that I, you always think he should always have. You know, and so um, that was what it, that was what inspired what I did yesterday night on my Instagram. Like, damn, bro. Did you give him? Why are you just reaching out now? You know, yes, I did. Oh, okay. You know, like, why are you just reaching okay. out now? Yeah, but I'm also really <laughs> hungry. Let me tell you, listen, after the show, I'll it. reach out to you. Um, let, let me put a disclaimer. Let me here. just reach out live. Let me just put Hi, a disclaimer Benny. here. I mean, <laughs> my rice is finishing. Let me just put a disclaimer here. Staff and employees of <laughs> Crossing <laughs> Africa. You know, so that, that, that that's just, discrimination. So that, that made me feel, I felt some type of way, mm -hmm. you know, like, you know, and then it was so, it wasn't so open about it, but I knew what he was trying to say, but he mm -hmm. didn't want to come out straight, yeah. you know, so that just made me feel, um, I'm, I'm giving out of, not because I have so much, I'm giving out of my luck, you know, like, you yeah. know, but hey, the people who Preach. can use this right now. Mm. And so let me just do my little bit in the little corner where I am. And so not so much out of abundance. But the fact that I can spend this, let other people, whatever, it's, it's not so much, but if it's going to solve anything, I'm happy to be of help. That's awesome. Uh -huh. I forgive you for every bad thing you said on this table by supporting <laughs> Honestly, Bonaboy, yes, same. Like that has already been our good books now. good this now. episode <laughs> of Tea Time. Thank you for wow. watching. And of course, if you're not there, we won't be here. So remember to catch up on this conversation by visiting our YouTube channel, A Plus TV Africa. And please do subscribe. You can also watch Tea Time on Alto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Benny Yak and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie God. And please do stay home and stay safe.